Hey everyone, it's Houndex here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full guide in optimizing the Lenovo Legion for gaming and performance in 2021. Recently, I've been getting a lot of comments in my past videos of people having issues with FPS drops, thermal throttling, so I'm going to address that all in today's video, as well as some of the best settings that you should change right now in the Lenovo Vantage app and other programs. Most of these methods I mentioned in this video should work for all Lenovo Legion models, including the Lenovo Legion 5, 7. But before we get into the video, I just want to make a quick reminder that you can always feel free to leave a like down below or subscribe if you feel that this video is beneficial to you or if you're interested in more of this content on this channel. But anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. Now before proceeding with any of these optimizations, I highly recommend you creating a restore point. This is so that in case if you mess up with the optimizations or if your FPS results aren't very well, you can always use this restore point to revert back your previous changes. Now you can go ahead and go into the start menu in order to create this and then type in system restore. Now click create a restore point right here. Now go into configure, make sure that this is turned on. If this is disabled, turn it on and then click OK and then click create and then call this whatever you want. Um, I already created one. It looks like this. Uh, if I click right here, Lenovo Legion optimization, just call it whatever you want. And if you want to revert back, just do what I just did and then you can just click there. And you're pretty much good to go. The first optimization I'm going to show you guys will be likely a fix to thermal throttling or it will help at the very least to optimize your airflow in your Lenovo Legion. Now if you have a Lenovo Legion 5 or the latest 2020 model you shouldn't really have an issue with thermal throttling in the first place because in my experience I haven't had any issues with overheating or thermal throttling, but for Lenovo Legion 7 users that could happen because I've seen some negative reviews that people have had issues with thermals. So this may help a little if you try out this optimization. Now we're going to use a program called MSI Afterburner. You're going to need to install it. I'll just drop a link down below so you can download it and install this thing. Now once you have installed it, it's going to look like this. Open up the settings right here. Just click that icon. And you're going to look for the general properties and make sure to select both start with windows and start minimize so that these optimizations that are in the MSI Afterburner automatically get applied when you reboot or boot your Lenovo Legion up so you don't have to open this program all the time. Now you can go ahead and click apply OK. Now the most important setting we're going to be looking at is the fan speed in the percentage right here. You can play around with the power limit or the temp limit but I'm just going to leave it at default. But the fan speed, we're going to be changing this. And by default, it's going to be set to autos. In my opinion, that is kind of bad because it's never going to get very high, like 50. So what I recommend is maybe dragging the slider up like a little to 40 or 50%. If you drag it way too high, it, the fans will become very loud. So drag it to the highest that you can take. For me, I would say maybe 50 is the highest that I could take because my fans will get pretty loud. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than this. That's a good spot for me. So once you've found your sweet spot, go ahead and click apply. There's also overclocking options right here, but I don't recommend messing with those unless if you know what you're doing. And another setting you may want to change is click the gear icon to open the settings menu again. You may want to change the setting under the fan tab. Go ahead and tick this option right here. And this is basically the fan curve. If you I highly recommend you like playing around with this depending on what kind of Lenovo Legion you have the results may vary but personally just create your own fan curve you can only set a default if you mess up so I like kind of this fan curve because this works out really well for me you can copy this if you like now once you're happy with what you set your fan curve to go ahead and click apply and ok and make sure you minimize MSI afterburner to your task tray so in the next part of the video, we're going to be changing some settings in the Lenovo Vantage app. I already covered this in one of my previous videos in optimizing the Lenovo Legion, so I'll try not to repeat myself. I still think this part of the video is important because it does contain some settings that definitely needs to be changed. I'm also going to cover new topics that I haven't covered in my past video in this one. Now open up the Lenovo Vantage app, it's going to look something like this, and we're going to be starting off by going into power. 
Starting off with the first option, which is the Lenovo Vantage Toolbar. If you don't really find this feature beneficial to you, or it doesn't really create any convenience, then it's best to leave it off as it does take up some system resources. Otherwise, if you do use it, then leave it on. For rapid charge and conversation mode, these are best to be left off if you've never used them, like me. Now head back to the main menu, and you're going to want to go ahead and go into thermal mode. And for this, it's going to be set on balance by default, but there is actually a toggle switch which says automatically switch to performance mode when launching games and switch back after exiting game. I actually find this feature pretty convenient because I like it when it automatically switches so I don't have to manually do it every time. But you can also use the shortcut FN plus Q to switch between these modes. But for now, I'll just leave it at balance. Before we get into the next set of optimizations, we're going to have to disable integrated graphics in the Lenovo Legion BIOS. The reason why we're doing this is we're going to want to optimize the dedicated GPU drivers, mainly the NVIDIA ones. I've seen some comments in my past videos of people having trouble updating and optimizing their NVIDIA graphics because they were using integrated ones like Intel or AMD. And another reason why you want to disable the integrated graphics in your BIOS is that it will force your Lenovo Legion laptop to use the dedicated graphics on your games so that you get higher FPS. So in order to head into the Lenovo Legion BIOS, you need to click on the start menu, now power, and then hold the shift key on the keyboard and then click restart. But I can't really do that because that will corrupt my recording and I do not have a capture card. But I will show you in a set of images of what it will look like instead. So this is what it will look like if you have done these steps properly. You will be brought up with a menu that looks somehow similar to this. But you're going to want to hit the troubleshoot button right here. And then you'll be brought to another set of options right here in advanced. And you want to look for the UEFI firmware settings which should show up like this. Click on it and you'll be brought to the BIOS just like this. Your laptop will reboot and you'll be brought to the BIOS just like this. You want to look for the graphic device section right here and you can see switchable graphics or discrete graphics but what you want to do is set it to discrete graphics and then apply your changes save them and then exit out of the BIOS and you're good to go. Reboot back into Windows and then you're good to go for the next set of optimizations. Next, we're going to be updating our GPU drivers. This is a very important step because this way you can and fix some bugs from the previous drivers updates. It can also help fix game crashes and FPS drops if you had any. Head over to this NVIDIA site. I'll drop this down in the description below. And once you're on it, just select your product type as GeForce. Depending on which Lenovo Legion model you have, your GPU may vary. For me, I have the GTX 1660 Ti, so I will select GTX 16 series notebook and GTX 1660 Ti. And just make sure you select the notebooks version because this is a laptop where you're installing a GPU driver on, not a desktop. For operating system, leave it as default. Windows driver type, I highly recommend using the standard version, but if that doesn't end up working out for you and it shows a compatibility error, then choose DCH. But we're going to use standard first. Now language will be English and for recommended just choose the certified and then click search. I recommend downloading the latest driver version which is 461.72 which was released last month. I haven't experienced any issue with this driver and so far I haven't had any FPS drops or game crashes with this driver in my laptop so definitely use this one. Click on it and then click download. And you're now good to go. Just wait for the file to finish downloading. Once you have downloaded the GPU driver, you want to go ahead and double click the application and run it. It will start a compatibility check. So just wait. And then if it says that there is a compatibility error, then choose the GCH driver instead of the standard one as that will be compatible to your Lenovo Legion laptop. Now go ahead and click agree and continue. And now you want to go ahead and uncheck PhysX system software and tick clean reinstallation to get the best results when updating your GPU drivers. Once you're ready to install your GPU drivers, click next. But I'm not going to because on this laptop, I am using my GPU to encode this recording. And if I were to reinstall my graphics card drivers, it would basically corrupt the file. 
but I'll be right back when this thing is done installing. Once it's done installing, I highly recommend you restarting your computer before continuing on with this video so you take full effect of the update. Next, we will optimize the NVIDIA control panel after installing your GPU drivers. Now, when you reinstall your GPU drivers, they will reset the NVIDIA control panel, so we're going to have to reapply these settings. Now, right click on your desktop and click NVIDIA control panel to get this to show up. Starting off with the tab with adjust image settings with preview, we're going to go and set this to use the advanced 3D image settings instead of let 3D application decide and go ahead and click apply now click take me there now if you want the maximum performance of your lenovo legion then you can optimize your settings in this section right here but that will come at a cost of lower battery life because this is applied to all your applications even including your browser which i don't really recommend because you don't really need to spend that much power on that we're going to go ahead and go to program settings because this will prioritize only games because that's where we want to boost FPS. Now choose a game that shows up in this drop down menu, or you can click add and browse for the game's location file. At this time, I can't really find Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I'll just use Fortnite as the example. We're gonna start off with image sharpening, and this should be turned off. Now for anti-aliasing, turn all of these off, because anti-aliasing basically add smoothness to your textures which will add a little bit of quality to your gameplay but it will add, come at a cost of lower fps for cuda gpus set it to all for low latency mode this depends on what kind of game and your laptop's performance for most people i would say on is the better option but test out between on and ultra and see which which is better for you ultra may work for lower end systems for power, set it to prefer maximum performance. Refresh rate, set it to highest available if you see this option. I'm connected to an external monitor for my Lenovo Legion, so this is why it shows up. But if you don't see it, just skip the step. And for texture filtering, off. And LED BIOS for quality, high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear ops. For quality, high performance. For texture filtering, I prefer on. Thread optimization, this is depending on what kind of system you have. I recommend testing between off and on, see which one works better for you. For triple buffering off, and for vertical sync, definitely turn this off because this adds more input lag and it's not really worth it in my opinion. Now we're going to go into desktop color settings tab. This part, we're going to be optimizing the color accuracy of your Lenovo Legion for digital vibrance. I prefer setting this option to around 70% as I don't really like my monitor looking way too washed out if I drag this option too low. Now go to adjust desktop size and position. We're going to want to go ahead and set it to no scaling. This is probably the best option for all of you guys. This will have the late for performance scaling on, we're going to set to display instead of the GPU, as this will work best for most of you guys. And for resolution, we're going to set to the native one, and the refresh rate, highest one available. And you're probably wondering why I have a 1440p screen, that's, I am connected to an external monitor, so it is displaying in 1440p, not 1080p. But, you will want to apply your settings, and you're pretty much good to go. That is it for NVIDIA Control Panel. Finally, the last few settings I wanted to show you guys is in the Windows Settings app. We're going to want to go ahead and hit the Start menu, go to Settings. Now, you'll be brought to this homepage. Click on Gaming. And for Xbox Game Bar, I found that disabling this option is better for a lot of you guys if you do not use this option and uncheck this as well this will reduce a lot of your background usage and you'll have a lot more system resources free it up so that you can get higher fps now go to game mode game mode you can turn this on it does offer a slight fps boost but we're going to want to go to graphic settings and this is a very important option for hard work celebrated GPU scheduling. If you see this option show up, turn this on. This is only available for the latest versions of Windows, but turn it on if you see it because this will offer really low latency and I've seen really good results when turning this on rather than off. And that is it for today's video. I hope you found these new methods useful and beneficial to you. If you have any suggestions for new videos, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I'll see you all in my next video.